Hello, my viewers. I've been getting some requests to make this particular video. And to play along, you'll need a halfway decent set of gauges, uh, a service wrench, and a like a just blow wrench or box wrenches, whatever you need. Yeah. So, um, I'm with the show. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, undo these screws that hold the panel on here. Uh, just loosen that one. And I'll loosen this one. And I'll completely undo this one here. Okay. And then this exposes. The entire control section. Oh, a lizard just took off. <laughs> Invaded his home. The next thing we want to do is we want to undo these caps here. Okay, to the liquid line. And uh, we're going to undo this cap off the suction line. Just give a little twist there and it'll loosen. You can undo the rest by hand. Typically, anyway. Then we'll remove the uh, cap off the service port. Um, that would be both of them. Both the liquid side and the suction side. And we can put the suction side hose off my gauges and uh, put it on the suction line just like that then I'll take on the high side say I'm using my high side gauge and hose and I'm attaching the hose to the liquid side by the way this is R22 so that's why the pressures are what they are Next step, take this service wrench right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to close the high side okay then you'll notice right here on the gauge where the pressure should start to drop. Now also right here on the suction line I'll I'm gonna turn on yes then also I'm going to close the suction line valve get ready to here close it all the way let's uh oh no go ahead and touch straight in the gauges There. Okay, now it's turned off all the way. Now, turn off the this machine. Now the system is ready to service in the line set. And of course, if you're going to service the anything in the line set, you need to first put nitrogen into the line set. But well, in this case, I'm not going to do any service on the line set. So I'm not going to put any nitrogen in the system. But what I'm going to do now is I'll just show you how to release the gas back into the line set. And that's quite simple, really, kind of just doing things in reverse. First, while the system is not running, by the way, we'll open the liquid side. 
and you can probably hear the gas rushing back into the line set now. Open the liquid side all the way. Good. And then I'll do the same thing with the suction. Now I'll do the same with the suction side. Let's open up these suction valve and you can see here that the gauges are showing the static pressure again as the system is off Once I get this uh, low side opened the rest of the way, sometimes it could take a while to get it opened. It's uh, kind of a, there we go. Okay. Now I'll put the plug back into the disconnect. <sighs> Jump. Okay. okay. And you can still. And you can see now where the system is starting to re-equalize in the running cycle. It's running in the cooling right now. Don't forget to put these caps back on. Your service valves. Because you could get a leak. Give it a little snug. There. Okay, now what I'll do is I'm going to remove the high side pose first and I'll the uh, pose where it goes when it's not used now I'm going to run all the liquid refrigerant that's inside this the high pressure hose into the low side and what I do there is well, first make sure that the yellow hose is tight right here so that you don't get any gas coming through there. Then I'll open the high side valve and then open the low side valve. See, and you can see how it'll equalize. The, the pressure is here. The liquid in the high side is now going into the low side. Good. Then I can close the valves. And now I'll remove the hose from the low side. And place it safe keeping back here with the gauges and here's something else you don't want to forget to do is put these caps back on these service valves And of course, you can put the, the cover back off, the machine, tighten all the screws. And we're done.